So, I'm in uh, Madrid, in Seoul, the center of Madrid, and I'm at a place called uh, Museo del Jamón, which is the Museum of Ham. Now you notice around me on the walls, lots and lots of ham. There are blue ones, white ones, red ones, but that doesn't mean that's what it tastes like. All of these hams, up on this wall right here, have been curing in salt for upwards of six years, especially the Bayota ham, which is the 72 years of Kilo. You have Ibericos, which is the lowest, uh, Extra Manio, 25 euros, uh, a couple different types of Bayota, which is uh, the best ones, and then kind of the blood sausage looking one, which is the Thathina. But the, all of these hams have not been cooked. All, the, all of them have been actually cured in salt first and then dried for upwards of six years. They've never been cooked, but they slowly take pieces off of them and put them on sandwiches, croissants, or you just eat them plain with cheese, wine, or a cano, which is like a small beer. So my dad came here a couple weeks ago, was astounded by it. When I first got to Spain, I was amazed by it. So. For all the people who didn't know about Spanish ham, it's not cooked, it's six years old, and it is the best tasting meat you'll ever have. Come try.